Welcome back everyone to Soda City Live. The Blythewood Artist Guild is hosting its 13th annual holiday market and craft show this weekend inside the manor at Doco Meadow Park. There will be several vendors and a variety of handmade items and proceeds will benefit both Fairfield and Richland County Animal Shelters. Yay for that! Yeah. I want to introduce you to Pam Padgett and Tamara Day. They are members of the Blythewood Artist Guild and they're both vendors. And you are just still setting up and I love it that there's so much to talk about. So. Before we go through some of these amazing items, how often, how, how many years have you guys been having this Artist Guild? Guild? This is the 13th year. And every year seems to be getting bigger right. and better, doesn't it? And we've not had it at DOCO, but the last two years, it's been in different places. So it's been really become popular since it's been at DOCO. So whether it rains or it's cold, you will be inside the manor, which is the big building near the water, at Doco Meadow Park. And it's, uh, if you take like exit 27, that's one way to get to it, or exit 24. Tell us about, these are some of the items, right, right. that are going to be sold. So Tamara, tell us what the name of your company is, and you and your mom do this together. Yes, my mom and I, um, we have not board designs. We are just hobby artists. Um, we love to go to Edisto and pick up shells, so we make lots of ornaments um, out of oyster shells and things. Um, I love wood. these. Um, planks. These are old um, shakes off of a schoolhouse in Nieces. So lots really? of reclaimed things um, that we make and paint. So these are absolutely beautiful. So you have this shell and did a, a picture Christmas scene yes. here. And then tell us about some of this. I, I wonder if, how close of a shot we can get of this. I think this is fascinating. It's tell us glass. about this. Um, this is sea glass with some driftwood that we picked up at Edisto. Um, little sea birds made out of the sea glass. Mm -hmm. um, these are new this year. We haven't done these before, but we're always looking for you know new ways to repurpose things. So all Just of these, pieces of glass. Yep, and all of these little shells we pick each and every one of those up, um, all from South Carolina beaches. I'd say primarily. I love Edison. that. I love that. Um, I love this ornament too of baby Jesus in the manger scene. This is so perfectly yes. beautifully done. That would look gorgeous on a tree. Let's talk about some of the things you have. And then, I'll, oh, look at this. I see lights <laughs> going off. Well, if you tell us here, this, these are some of the pictures from last year's event, right? Right. How many vendors are we talking about? We have a little over 20 vendors this year. Wow. And that's a small, you know, for the room is we have a, that's a good many. And room. it starts on Thursday and goes through Saturday. And I understand Santa's going to be there as well. He will be there Friday and Saturday afternoon. Wonderful. Um, and then tell us about a special time for seniors who are going. Um, we have opened the doors for um, assisted living residents to come at 3.30 until five on, on Thursday. So they can maneuver around with uh, ease and not be worried about getting bumped know, into people, right? that's a great so, great idea tell me about this can our, our <laughs> yeah, viewers seeing yeah. the the flashing i love this tell us about this it is my art kit I oops i can't yeah i don't know where to hold it i'll do it like this if we want to take the overhead camera so tell me about this i own happy time paint parties and i'm a mobile paint party business so i go to folks and homes or venues or whatever and do paint parties but i also make art kits as yes. well that you can purchase. So this is one of my kits this year, a new kit with a Santa. The okay. Santa's painted on the front and then it has a little hat. With and it. I love it. It says take and make kit. So literally everything you need everything. in there. I, yes. I draw it on the canvas and then I package everything, the brushes, the paint, uh, there's an apron, color chart, um, mm -hmm. everything in it that you need to complete and then, the And then the lights, I don't know if it picks up on the camera, mm -hmm. but those are flashing. So it's, what what would something like this cost, Pam? This one is 20. Uh-huh. Um, That's of the, a great gift. Some of the bigger ones um, have um, tutorials with them, with QR codes that you can you click on and go to yes. and watch and paint at your own speed. And that's great for a family that gets together and right. wants to do something. Remember, I can't say it, but memorable. <laughs> memorable. Yeah, memorable. For sure. <laughs> for Christmas, you know, to that's make me wonderful. Race. Well, both of you are so impressive. Now, if somebody goes to this and they don't see exactly what they want, do, are you available for them to commission something with you? Absolutely, and I think that a lot of the vendors are. Um, and we have someone who uh, is a member does custom t-shirts, so lots of people do take orders. Um, so, absolutely. And we have to give a shout out to your mom because you made the connection for me right before the show that she's the one who's done my bows yes. that I use in decorating my house for Christmas and, and the holiday season. 
she is so good <laughs> too yes, because yes. I cannot tie a bow and I've never seen bows done as well as your mom did. So uh, this is wonderful. Ladies, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and put the information up on the screen. All the goodness, again, the Blythewood Artist Guild's 13th Annual Holiday Market will be inside the Manor at Doco Meadow Park, and that is in the heart of Blythewood. It goes Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Hopefully no, you Saturday, have a chance to Saturday, get out Saturday. there. What did I say? Thursday? Saturday. You said Sunday. Did I? I don't, I don't mean that. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I'm not going to make you stay <laughs> another day. <laughs> Pam's going to be like, I'm done. <laughs> right. Well, this is wonderful. Do you have a favorite of all of yours that you want to highlight before we head out? Um, probably the angels have been our most popular. Mm -hmm. um, so I would I would say these. Yes. Um, no, and these are ornaments too. Yes, they are ornaments. Or you could just hang that on a yes, wall. Yes. Yes. So not it's just Christmas and made um, out of the shell. Lots again. of people will hang them on curio cabinets and things like that, but they do make a sweet gift for lots of people for different reasons. I love that, and I love something that you get so much use out of it at Christmas, but it could be a year-round thing mm -hmm. as well. What's your yeah. favorite? Um, <laughs> Two hours or mine? <laughs> You're silly. <laughs> no, I, I don't have a favorite because I enjoy doing them all. You love I it just, all. I Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Crafting is amazing, especially when you're talented like you two ladies. Well, thank, thank you so you. much for being thank here. Thank you. The uh, event in Blythewood again coming up Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Saturday. We'll have more Soda City Live right after this.